in this one, we go up against a 21 power and toughness creature. Hope you enjoy it. All right, we've got a game against funny money monkey. All right, let's go ahead and check out our opening hand. Four lands, not great, but we do have a one, two, three curve in hand. No ramp, but Adventurous Impulse can help us dig. Thorn Lieutenant is a strong two drop and Marwyn is pretty crazy in this deck if we can get, uh, get the card going. So we'll be keeping and it looks like we're gonna be playing against a white, white weenie or white, white life gain style deck. So after drawing another land there off the top, we are looking for gas, which we find in Beast Whisper, so that's good. Already have enough mana to play it in hand, so that's excellent. Healer's Hawk, okay. So it's definitely looking more like a white life gain. Yep, so we need to be looking out for a Johnny's Pride Mate, which we don't run removal in this deck, so Pride Mate will be getting huge against us. So hopefully we dodge that here. And nope, right on cue. There's a Pride Mate, and that Pride Mate's gonna be able to grow one, two, it's gonna be able to grow three power per turn. So our little Thorn Lieutenant's not looking so great anymore. I would have liked to have played Marwyn here. Like, I really wanna play Marwyn, but I think we have to go Steel Leaf in order to block out the Pride Mate. Um, you know, threatening a double block with the Thorn Lieutenant. That might buy us a turn or two. Mm -hmm. Yep, continues to grow the Pride Mate. And let's just see how the opponent decides to attack here. Okay, just the Healer's Hawk. That's uh, worked out as well as we could have hoped. Pride Mate just continues to get bigger. So the way that we're going to win this if we do win, is to go really wide and to be able to continually chump block the Pride Mate and always have a, an answer back with another creature every single turn. So we're gonna go Beast Whisper instead of Marwyn here and pass back to our opponent, no attacks. More counters. Our opponent's doing all of this off of two mana. Okay. All right, that seems fine. And we get pegged for two. So it looks like our opponent is gonna be satisfied to just keep pinging us down with the healer sock. A little bit crappy that we missed both of the Vivians in our deck, which now both are going to the bottom, but we did find another Beast Whisperer. So let's get the Beast Whisperer out and on the line. And we're gonna be passing back. So we may have to chump block with a Thorn Lieutenant here on the Pride Mate, that'd be fine. Otherwise, we're probably just taking the two from Healer's Hawk. Second Pride Mate. That's gonna make things even spicier here. But I think we've bought enough time here, maybe? You know, we're gonna have to draw really well. But I think we've bought enough time. To at least to be in the game. Because now we can go, we can go Marwen. We're gonna be drawing two cards now every time we, we play. We've got a Thorn Lieutenant, which we can play. We've got the Druid as well, but I think Thorn Lieutenant makes more sense here. And there we go, found a Clan Caller. So, again, thinking strategy about how we intend to win this game, and we'll go Adventurous Impulse here with our extra mana. Ooh, Galta, excellent, we'll pull that. I think the way that we win this game is really wide, multiple clan callers buffing up everything, and then we're gonna have this turn where we just swing with the entire team and try to try to beat our opponent. And until then, we're gonna have to chump block the pride mates. So we'll just see. That pride mates 15-15 now. All right, so that's gonna be a Thorn Lieutenant jumping. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have any, any trampling spells in their deck. We haven't seen any other colors or green or red yet, so. Okay, another life gain creature. That's fine, we won't intend to be attacking anytime soon. So we're gonna go Beast Whisper here. All right. And we can go with the Pelt Collector. Pelt Collectors are gonna get a, going to be getting huge in this game. Another Clan Caller, that's excellent. All right, we also got Vanquisher's Banner, so we have the ability to pump up 
our board significantly now. And I think we're going clan collar. I'm gonna draw a lot more. Hmm. Now, do we want to be going banner or another clan collar here? Or Galta? Do we want Galta out? Hmm. I think we're just going clan collar again. We're gonna draw a lot more. Hmm. Now we got some more one drops we can play out here. Get a bunch more cards drawn. We could also play the clan collar. We could also play Galta. I think we just go clan collar again and keep buffing all of our creatures up. It forces again. It's basically we're gonna try to force our opponent to be nervous about attacking in with those pride mates just because of how we could double or triple block some of the, you know, with some combination of our creatures. And now that we have the Pell Collectors up, it's almost like double value uh, anytime that the opponent kills any of our creatures. So at this point, we are basically what, maybe three quarters of the way through our deck. So we actually do have to be a little bit careful that we don't, um, no attacks here, that we don't deck ourselves. Um, let's just go through and sort out everything we want to dump. So we can dump these, dump that. Uh, let's save one land to play next turn. Uh, uh, drop the druid. Drop that druid. And drop a land of war. Uh, and we'll just drop that. Lieutenant. Maybe actually probably would have been right to drop a Marwin there instead of the other four in Lieutenant. That's all right. So our opponent's still on two lands too, which is pretty, that's actually pretty important for us. Yeah, more tokens, more counters, more counters, more counters, more counters. Let's see what our opponent opts to do here. Uh, okay. Seals away the Marwin. It's fine. Just the Healer's Hawk. All right. Just the Healer's Hawk. So it looks like our board presence is actually starting to scare our opponent a little bit. Another, another Beast Whisperer. Oh, man. All right. So I think we want to be playing... I think we want to be playing a Vanquisher's Banner. Uh, elf, please. Thank you. I think we want the other Clan Caller. Like, I think this is actually the turn where we're attacking. So, we'll go with the other Clan Caller. Yeah, we're down to just a few cards left in deck. So, the other Clan Caller. I think we're swinging with everything. That one clan collar will be back. We'll play a pelt collector as well. After combat, so that we have two chump blockers against the pride mates on the backswing so that we just don't lose. And we'll just see how our opponent decides to block this. Like they have to block, right? So they're gonna trade their two small creatures away, the Vanguard and the um uh, the one three there they're both gonna get killed in this this interaction now our opponent can't afford to block the clan callers i think i'm doing the math like trying to do the math out here i'm pretty sure that the opponent can't block the clan callers or they just lose because we have enough damage elsewhere on the board so we're probably losing i'm not really sure why yeah. okay I'm not sure why they opted to block the... Huh. They, they let us keep our Beast Whisperers alive, which is interesting. So we get some very big Pelt Collectors now. And now we just cast out the other Pelt Collector. We're going to draw one, two, three, four, cre uh, four cards. And we're going to do some discarding. Dump uh, Marwin, dump the other Marwin, dump the Beast Whisperer, dump some lands. Ooh, do, 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 do. Yeah. Just dump the land of war. So 
So we really can't draw anymore. So we really can't play any more creatures. We just have to win with what we have. And we're blocking with Pelt Collector, and we're blocking with Clan Caller if the opponent attacks, and they can't beat us. Wow, crazy. The Beast Whispers and the Clan Callers, man, what a crazy good combo. Let us get wide and big against two ridiculously huge Pride Mates. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.